Parts of Nebraska may be in the worst drought of a lifetime. The conditions that have been affecting crop farmers are now affecting cattle in the state. Channel 8's Chanel McCarthy has more on the unrelenting cycle. The effects of the drought in Nebraska is a trickling cataclysm. Its impact first touching farmers and now cattle in the state. Ranchers are pleading for help, but they say this is a problem only nature can solve. Because of the lack of rain, there's not much in pastures or hay fields, and cornfields are suffering, with some farmers doubting they'll have much to harvest this fall. All of that ringing true here at Weber Feed Yards, where a shortage in crops at farms means a shortage in feed for cattle. The hope is the end is in sight, but right now we need a lot of help. But help, I'm talking Mother Nature. I mean, it's got to rain. That's, that's the bottom line. And until it does, things won't be calmed down. Joel Weber owns and runs the feed yard, and like many in the agricultural industry, it was passed down from his father and his father before him, going back to his great-grandfather, who Weber says started it all. He hopes to pass it down to his son, who will be the fifth generation of Webers in the business. Weber says in all his years in the profession, conditions are the worst he's ever seen. In my lifetime of, of operating this business, um, we haven't seen anything like this where it's just almost impossible to find our, to meet our refuge needs. We are a, a corn and soybean producing farm and feed yard and we grow a lot of what we need to feed cattle, but we can't, we don't produce that much roughage. With the need for water at an all-time high, Weber says outsourcing for feed or roughage doesn't come at a small price. Procuring good quality hay has been a challenge and just just sourcing it and then trying to come together with a price with the owner of it is, is a, certainly a challenge and it, it's definitely hurting our bottom line and, and uh, making our entire world cost more. Which in return can make the lives of consumers cost more. On the opposite end of the counter, Weber says rising costs for farmers and ranchers means rising costs for consumers. You know, it'll trickle down and as feed costs go up, um, you know, a lot of things trickle down. We've seen inflation, we've seen rising prices on every single input that we use, including feed. Um, you're seeing meat high in the stores, you're seeing everything be high right now across the entire economy. Right now, he and others in the field say it would take substantial and continuous rain in order to save crops and halt the relentless cycle that comes with drought. Ah!